Hello everyone, I just decided to do um, the first video for the series I'm doing for um, called um, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Um, Reloaded for the 20th century. Some of you may, may was born in the 90s that parts are so liked it and I'm planning on doing s something like that but this will be the fourth video for it which is going to be a little um, no good because it's gonna be on the webcam. But anyway, without no effect special effects or anything too, so so yeah, here it goes. I call this the tale of the X Mortal Hollow. S Suzanne and Ned was driving through the wooden empty <coughs> section of the highway. Lightning and flashed thunder world. Sky went dark in the <clears throat> Twin Duran Poor. We'd better stop, said Susan. Nan nodded his head and agreed. He stopped on the stepped on the brake and steadily the car st started to slide on the <clears throat> slick pavement. They plugged off the road and slid the, into a hill at the bottom of the in intersection. Pale and sick, and Ned quickly turned to check if Susan was all right. C was <coughs> then, when she nodded, Ned relaxed and looked through the rain soaked windows. I'm going to see how bad it is, he told Susan, and went out <coughs> into the storm. She saw his bully figure in the, in the flashlight walk around the front of the car. A moment later, he jumped in beside or soaking wet. The car was not bad, badly damaged, but will wheel down it in mud, he said. I'm going to have to go for help. Susan swallowed nervously. That would be not that would be no quick rescue here, he told her to turn off the headlights and lock the doors until he returned. Axe Mother Hollow thought Ned had said the name out loud. They both knew what he had been thinking when the, when he told her to lock the doors, but lock the car. <clears throat> they was, this was the place where a man had once taken an axe and hacked his wife to death in a jealous rage over an alleged affair, supposedly. The axe Building spiller of the husband continued to haunt this section of the road. Outside the car, Susan heard a spark, a loud thump, and a strange gargling noise, but she couldn't see anything in the darkness. <clears throat> Frightened, she shook, she shook down into her seat. She sat in the silence for a while, and then she noticed around a, another sound. Bump, bump, bump. It was a soft sound, like something had been blown by the wind. Suddenly the car was by a bright light and <clears throat> a fiercely sounding voice told her to get out of the car. Ned must have found a police officer. Susan locked the door and stepped out <clears throat> of the car. As for his eyes adjusted to the light, she saw it hanging by the, his feet from the tree next to the car was the dead body of Ned. His bloody had been cut so deeply that he nearly <clears throat> decapitated. The wind sung his corpse backwards and, backwards and forwards so that it thumped again.
Up against the tree, bump, 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 Susan screamed and ran towards the voice of the light. As she drew close to her, she realized the light was not coming from a flashlight. Suddenly there was a glowing figure of a man with a smile on his face and a loud, large, solid, and <clears throat> definitely real axe in his hand. She backed away from the glowing figure until she bumped into the car. Playing around with my back was torn, the ghost whispered, stroking the soft bladed of the axe with his fingers. You have been very naughty. The last time she saw the last thing she saw was the grin of the black axe blade in the in the uh, in <coughs> innocent light. <clears throat> well everyone that was the end of that story. Hope you guys liked. If you did leave a a like, favor, and sell this video. Um, comment down below if you liked it. Um, so yeah, peace. Love you guys.